So a lot of you guys were wondering how I loop my keyboard stabilizers without being able to take them out. Here's a quick video of how I did it to my spacebar. The concept used on the spacebar is the same for every key that has a stabilizer. The first thing you want to do is reveal the stabilizers by removing the keycaps of each key that has a stabilizer. Today I'm going to be demonstrating my process on one of these stabilizers. Once you've removed the keycaps, grab some tweezers, lubricant of choice, and a thin paper. Grab the stem with tweezers and lift it up. Once you've done that, you should be able to see the gap and there you'll be able to see the wire. Put the end of your grease tube there and put a dot of lube into that gap. You can use a syringe or just a brush with lube on it for this step. but I just put the grease tube there and it works fine. Next, use that paintbrush that I told you to get and spread the lube all around the metal piece. Do the same for the other side and that's pretty much it. Some of you guys might be able to lube the stabilizer a lot better if you just slide your paintbrush underneath that metal. Sadly, I can't slide my paintbrush underneath the metal to get the other part of the stabilizer and that kind of makes my keyboard rattle a little bit. You repeat this process on every single key that has a stabilizer. Your guys' keyboards might be just a little bit different, but essentially it's the same process on every single keyboard out there. That's pretty much all you can do without removing the stabilizers. Remember to subscribe and thanks for watching.